What's up, y'all? It's Dr. Paul. I'm working on Noah's copy of Startling Comics number 48, and we're in the end game now. This is my Masterpiece 350 Seal Press. It is a beast, as you can see. And I've mentioned before, one of the things I really like about this unit is that I have so much room in here, I can lay pages from Golden Age books out flat and press them flat and still have plenty of room. I could press concert posters in here. So this is how I stack the, the interior pages, actually the covers in here as well. And this is currently just cold pressing, but this is where I'm leaving them as I washed and deacidified every single one of the interior leaves of that book. And now that I'm done with all of them, we're going to take this out and take it over to our workspace and do the final trim and then start the reassembly process. All right, this is the cover and all of the interior wraps of Noah's Startling Comics number 48. I have completed all of the washing, all of the deacidification, all of the mending. This is the center fold here. This is where the staple had rusted and the acid that's released during that process had disintegrated the paper. So I did a Japanese paper repair right here. All these pages now have spent a week in the cold press and they are ready to be reassembled. Before we reassemble them, the ones that had Japanese paper on the edges need to have the edges trimmed. And we're gonna do that today before we start the reassembly. Just with a scalpel and a ruler, as you've seen me do before. So the final tally here was I did washing and deacidification on every page of this book all of the interior wraps got washed deacidified the first four got a bleaching procedure because they had mold on them and i did paper mending where necessary i lost count but i think it was at least six of these wraps where I did paper mending. So we're gonna be trimming all of those wraps today and then reassembling the book. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. It helps other people find my channel. And if you subscribe, set those notifications on, then YouTube will let you know whenever I'm about to put a new video out. So there's the cover. I believe all these wraps are in order, so I'm gonna sort them out and I'm gonna go ahead and set them up for cutting. I will, that'll take me a minute, so I'm gonna do that off camera and be right back and show you that process. All right, I've just checked, double checked, and triple checked that I have all of the inner wraps oriented correctly and laid out in the correct order. These Golden Age books, there's 12 pages of inner wraps plus the cover. And the way that works is 12 pages, each wrap, there's 12 wraps, each wrap has four pages of comics on it, right? That one, that one, and then the two on the other side. So you have 48 pages of story plus the cover. What I'm gonna do now is that I have them all laid out this is the centerfold. I'm gonna just peel them off one at a time, lay them and keep the orientation now that I have them all sorted. And I will trim the ones that need trimming. You can see I have Japanese paper on some of them and we'll just kind of review. So there's the centerfold. The next wrap. And we can just kind of take a look at each one I'm really happy with the way that the paper came out here. This paper is 
supple. It's super flat. This has all been cold pressed for over a week. And that's how you get it nice and flat after it's been wet. This is the third wrap from the centerfold. Fourth from the centerfold. This would be like the eighth one in. Fifth or seventh one in. I'm also just doing my last check that there isn't some sort of a flaw that I missed on these pages. So this one does have two repairs. So I'm going to take the opportunity now to trim those. And all I'm going to use for that is a straight ruler. I like to use one that's clear. I think you're going to get a much better result. You know, it's something that's see-through. If you watch Jerry the Jitterbug, he uses that plated glass. That's smart. Um, something that's see-through allows you to judge this edge perfectly. I'm going to set up my light so that I can see that a little bit better, and I'll start the trimming. All right, I have my light set up now. with It's a ring light with magnification so that I can really make sure that I'm cutting right on this edge. I'm not cutting any of the paper off. This is a number three scalpel handle with a number 11 blade you've seen me use before. And again, I'm not making the argument that this is the best tool for the job. It's just the one that I'm comfortable with. You should use whatever blade you are comfortable with and have on hand and have lots of practice with. The main thing is it should be super sharp. Because these Tengujo paper is very strong and you need a really sharp blade to cut it effectively. All right, I'm going to bring this book back in, get our orientation correct. So this is the correct orientation. This is page five here, which goes to page six, and then that's page seven. So I know I got that orientation. So now I can take this and flip it just like I've been flipping all the others. The next wrap also has a repair right here. So I'll do that next. I like to do the, rip the cut on the same side as the repair, because I feel like I am holding down the Tengujo as I cut it better. All right, so again, this one got flipped, so I'm gonna put it back to the correct orientation. And again, you cannot triple check this often enough. This is quad check it, because you do not want to reassemble the book in the wrong order. So this is page seven, there's page eight, and then it starts a new story in that direction. In this direction, that's page eight, that's page nine, and then it starts the new story there. All right. I think all the rest of the leaves have repairs, so we're going to be going back and forth quite a bit here. But this is the method I use just to keep it all straight. So we'll flip it. And check it. I know that this first story is the jungle story. 
page six, page seven, page eight. And then my finished pages pile. One thing that's really remarkable if you saw these pages before and after is just how nice and flat the pages are right now after being cold pressed for over a week. It was a week on the last one that I cleaned, so um, it's quite a bit longer than a week on the earliest pages. and. You may or may not recall on these wraps, this area right here was actually all crinkled and ripped through. And look how nice and flat that is now. And one of the reasons is because as we discussed, when you do these repairs, and I'm just double checking page four, page five, page six. I got the orientation of this correct. You do these repairs when the paper is wet, then you cold press it as it's drying, you really can get the pages flat like the top of a billiards table, which is how you want them. We've talked about this before too, but when I have a little defect like that, I don't try to cut the Japanese paper out around it or anything. I'll just leave the Japanese paper across there just to keep it nice and strong. All right, so again, that's the surface we want showing. Keep our orientation. There's page two, there's page three. that so you can see it. Page two, page three, page four of that story. I think this is the first page I did so it's actually already been trimmed. Yeah we trimmed this one on camera before but there's the first page of the book and then there's our cover which has also already been trimmed. So we now have our entire book. Don't need that. go. So now we're ready to put the staple back in and to put the fold back in for this book. So we'll show you that in the next video. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, if you want to try out any of the techniques that I am showing you and demonstrating, if you want to order any of the materials, check out the description. I have links to Amazon where you can purchase all the materials that I use. Those are affiliate links, so they do help support me and the channel a little bit. I appreciate it. And until next time, take care of one another.